Okay, in this presentation, we're going to uh, use discount factors here for future values and present values and then annuities to determine the uh, length of a loan or how many annuity payments we have to make to earn a certain amount of money. And what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, uh, use these discount factor tables where we reference the interest rate that we are earning or paying on this loan and then we'll calculate the discount factor and then we'll be able to determine a number of periods by uh, referencing these tables here. And then also we'll go through just to show how this can be done used with an Excel program or a financial calculator. Here I'm going to show you the formulas for calculating those discount factors. And first for reference here, OA uh, suffix, that's an ordinary annuity, that's where you receive payments at the end of the period. And then AD stands for an annuity due, and those are the payments where you receive at the beginning of a period. So a present value, OA stands for present value ordinary annuity, present value AD would be present value annuity due. So first let's look at the formulas. We'll just scan through them here, and you can write those down if you want. So here's our present value formulas and then present value of our annuities, ordinary annuities and annuity due formulas. And notice here we're using these uh, factors here. These are our discount factors. And then here are our payment amounts for each of those annuities types. And then over here, these are our discount factors. Those are how you calculate those. And those are the runs we're going to be referencing on our uh, cash flow diagrams as well as these formulas over here. So, all right, let's look at our first cash flow diagram here where let's say for example we want to, we have $2,732 to invest, that would be our present value, and we want to earn $4,000 on it and we know the interest rate is 10%. So the question is here, how many periods or how long will it take to uh, when you invest this $2,732, will it take to earn the $4,000? So here we're using our present value factor. We would calculate that. You can see that from what we've done before here. And then we go down on our present value table, look at the interest rate. This was 10%. Move down to whatever that factor amount is and then move across here um, to determine our number of periods. So four periods here that would have matched our diagram up here. It took four periods or four, four years at a 10% interest rate. Now same thing with the future value factor here. You determine your future value factor and then you'd go down here in the future value table, look at your interest rate, move down to that factor amount, then moves across here to determine a number of periods. Now all this can be replaced here by just using your financial calculator or in an Excel function. So in the Excel it's just a number of periods function and in this case just go over it quickly. Uh, put in the 10% interest rate and payments. Well there aren't any but you have to know the present value and the future value amounts here and then the type I put in zero for the end of the payments. So what we're looking at here when you're solving these problems you have to know, know three uh, variables here. The present value in this case the interest rate and the future value and then you can determine a number of periods. Okay here's the situation where we have annuity type payments here. Say for example we invest $3170 here so that would be our present value of this ordinary annuity that we're looking at and we want to withdraw $1000 payments at the end of each year and our interest rate uh, is 10% here. So we want to determine how many payments we can withdraw at $1,000 each if we invest $3,170 now. So we go out and we calculate our present value ordinary annuity factor, then go down to that present value table here of the ordinary annuity at 10%. We find that factor, go across, it's four periods. So we can do the same thing here with the Excel function here where we would put in our interest rate and then we put in our payment and then we either have to know what our present what we presently invested or what we our f present value or future value and then we could calculate that out. So if we're looking up here at a future value uh, say for example we want to know how many payments at a thousand dollars each do we need to make to 
earn like $4,641 out here at a future amount. So here we have to determine again the number of periods or how many periods or how many payments do we have to make here to earn this $4,641. In this case we go down to our future value ordinary annuity factor, determine that, and then once we do we go down to the corresponding um, table here and then at a 10% interest find that factor go across and it would be four periods so then again we could use the Excel function here again now you have to watch how you put in your numbers here like this would be a 10% that's our rate our payments yeah I put them you have to put in minus sign here the payment amount and then uh, present in this case the present value here would be zero that's and we're, we're making a future value investment here you put that in and then the type and you'd come up with the number of periods so that's just a summary here of how you would use these cash flow charts um, you would know uh, three variables and you can calculate calculate the fourth so in this case you'd know your present value of your ordinary annuity you know your interest rate and you know your payment then you can calculate the number of periods here or in the other case, you have to know your future value of your ordinary annuity, your payment, and your interest rate. Then you could calculate your number of periods. Oh, that's how these tables work. And yeah, it's good to use a financial calculator or in an Excel program to determine, determine those period amounts as well.